Beyond the Badge is brought to you by the Dinah Crime Prevention Fund. Firefighters rely upon personal protective equipment to keep safe and to work effectively in the face of numerous job-related risks. Oftentimes, oxygen levels are substandard when battling a house fire or working around hazardous materials. In this month's How's It Work segment, we'll take a look at the self-contained breathing apparatus and learn why it is an invaluable part of a firefighter's arsenal. Let's join Officer Aaron White and Firefighter Paramedic Sean White for a demonstration of how the breathing apparatus works. Thanks, Brian. I'm at Fire Station 1 today with Sean White, a paramedic firefighter with the Dyna Fire Department, to learn a little bit about SCBA, or Self-Contained Breathing Apparatus. Sean, thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me. It's seemingly somewhat basic, but incredibly important for firefighters. Tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here. I would say this is probably the most important piece of equipment that we use so that we can be in the environments that we are forced to be in sometimes. It is basically just a backpack with a big air bottle that's hooked into it has some hosing and regulators that we are able to hook into our mask that creates a seal around our face. So we are able to bring a normal breathing air atmosphere with us wherever we go. A real key here is, is firefighters are regularly trying to make sure people understand it's not just fire that's dangerous, it's that environment. It's the, the smoke and the chemicals and things in the air. Absolutely. We wouldn't be able to operate in that environment and do what we need to do. Um, if we didn't have a piece of equipment like this. Can you give us a quick demo? How does this go Absolutely. Together? And so like I said, it's really just a backpack. Uh, so we have some big straps that we'll throw over and, uh, and put on our backs just like this. And like I said, probably the most important part of all of this, I shouldn't say most important, but one of the biggest aspects of it is this mask. Um, has a basic gasket inside and so that creates a nice seal around our face. So this is, a, this is the mask mounted regulator and this is really how the air gets into the mask and then creates the seal sure. uh, in the system. So when we turn the whole system on, you hear that's called a Viber Alert and that's really a kind of our last line of defense uh, letting us know that we're getting low on air and then that beep is what's part of the, our pass system or it's a personal uh, safety system that uh, in case we get uh, caught, injured, hurt, uh, we're able to activate that and it alarms and lets the other firefighters know that number one, we need help and how to find us. Sure. So what we do is we just place the mask and make sure you're getting a good, nice, solid seal. Tighten the strap so that it fits. And you'll hear that that's that pass alarm yep. starting to go off and it's all based upon movement. So we need to uh, keep moving. So you'll see firefighters on scenes Everybody kind of does the wiggle. Sure. And that's how we keep the, keep uh, the alarms the from going off. Exactly right. So once we get this mask on, you can tell that it's a lot harder to necessarily understand me. Right. Uh, so some of us will wear these uh, voice amplifiers. We wear it on our mask and it allows us to project the voice a little bit better. You get the Darth Vader thing going. Exactly now. right. Very scary for some people, but very important. Good time maybe for you to tell everybody we're not actually brothers. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, very good. So since we're here, we don't need to have that on. And then the mask mounted regulator just clicks into the front of the mask here, creates a seal, and you'll hear that. That's really where you get the Darth Vader sounding sure. access. So every time you breathe, breathe that in, we have a nice little heads up display that sits inside this and will give us a constant reading of our, our air levels within the tank. And how long can you use this? How much air is in the tank? So we rate it upon uh, pressure. So this is a 4,500 PSI air bottle, okay. which will give us, depending on the amount of work that we have to do and what exactly it is that we're trying to accomplish, uh, about 15 to 20 minutes of work time, okay. uh, which is a good normal amount of work cycle. We come out uh, and all these bottles are replaceable. Um, so you just slide the bottle out of the, out of the pack replace a new bottle, we carry tons of spares on our trucks, and then we can uh, go in and back and do some more work. Very good, well thank you for the demonstration. Oh, thank Appreciate you. It. Sean White, he's a paramedic firefighter with the Edina Fire Department. We'll return to Brian. Thank you, Aaron.